stand for core stage to internal power. The rocket's core stage, which houses the three flight computers, is now on battery power. So there is no more hold time available because there's no more margin on the battery. So if we hold, have a hold, we have to recycle back to T-minus 10 minutes and recharge those batteries. The count continues. And then now, shortly after liftoff, One minute. Shortly after liftoff, Mission Control Houston will take control of the rocket, and my colleague, Lee Cheshire, will take over commentary. T minus 50 seconds and counting. Coming up at T minus 33 seconds, the GLS will hand off control to the ALS. This is the autonomous launch sequencer on board the rocket. It will take over command and control of the rocket. But the ALS will check. Make sure there's no holes coming from the ground up until T minus GLS is go for ALS. And we are go for ALS. The space launch system is now counting down to lift off of Orion on its fate voyage to the moon. Not board. since Saturn V. <laughs> launch team can no longer cycle the count. Sound to pressure water now fully under the ML. And here we go. And how do I burn off the battery to initiate? Seven. Six, five, four stage engines start. Woohoo! Three, two, one. Go! <laughs> <laughs> off of Artemis One. We rise together back to the moon and beyond. Woo! <laughs>